Neighborhood crime alert tonight. Police are on the search for a man looking who uh, broke into a Westside convenience store, uh, and that man came in through the ceiling. Jacksonville police just released surveillance video of the burglar who made his way into J&J &J Food Store off South McDuff Avenue. Tonight, Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joining us live after speaking with a clerk who works there. Fran? Yeah, Joy and Tarek, you know, J&J &J Food Store is very respected in that community. It has existed for over a decade. So when I was talking to the clerks who work at that store, they were pretty shocked to find out just who they believe is the suspect. Dozens of cigarette boxes and quite a few lotto tickets, both items normally sold behind the counter at J&J &J Food Store. But last month, they were the items stolen in a burglary, one that was all caught on camera. Was this the first time a burglary happened here? That's the second time. Second time. Yeah, that's the second time. According to police, the man broke in through the roof and dropped down from the hole in the ceiling. You can see him in action there. Then he runs to the glass door where cash registers are stored. Using a sledgehammer, he breaks the glass. What did he take? Cigarette and a lot of... Do you know how much worth of cigarettes? Eh, not a lot. He fumbles with the cash register, unable to get it open. He then tries to take a safe, but it's too heavy. His last resort, lotto tickets, and then loads of cigarettes. Do you know anything about him? Uh, he worked before here. Mm -hmm. That's a long time ago. That's about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he worked here. According to the clerk, the suspect worked at the store for a few months a year ago. He says fortunately the alarms were working that night, but police arrived just minutes after the suspect left. And if you have seen this person or if he looks familiar to you, you are urged to call the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office right here. That number 1-866-45-TIPS. That's Crime Stoppers. And you could be eligible for a reward. I'm live tonight. Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Fran, did the clerk mention whether those lotto tickets are, are tracked or may be helpful to police? You know, Tark, that's something that I would have thought, right? So if he cashed in one of those um, lotto tickets, maybe police could track him. I'm not exactly sure, but what I do know is that uh, when I was talking to one of the clerks, they said that he left many lotto tickets on the ground there, and one of those lotto tickets was actually a winning lotto ticket, $500 to be exact. Tark. Channel 4 is Francesca Amaker. Thank you, friend.